guys. This is Plus Size Model Rain. And I'm so happy that you decided to watch my videos today. Today is a wonderful day, guys. And it is March already, 2015. Can you believe that? I mean, this year is is like going by so, so fast. And I hope that you guys are doing and uh, fulfilling your dreams that you have uh, stated that you wanted to do in the new year. I know I am, guys. I, I'm on my journey, as you guys know, on my plus size modeling journey. We just, um, we have a wonderful workshop that I was chosen among many, many females to participate in. Guys, I am so excited to tell you that I am with a, um, it's a new company that came out and I am just so excited. I just signed a, a modeling, it's like a contract, but this company will help you get me out there like via um I'm sorry guys <laughs> now I'm making sure I have my portfolio um done making sure I I'm, I'm looking on my phone because I want to make sure I say the company name right um we're going to be doing photo shoots guys they have a photographer they have um they're going to do wardrobe. Um, guys, it's going to be... It's going to be wonderful. I'm not going to tell you the name of it yet because we're going to be doing a... Um, like a grand opening kind of like. And I just want to wait until that day. It's going to be on the 14th of March. 2015 so I will be having like photos I will be having um I don't know if I'm gonna have video but I, I'm gonna record my own video but I don't know if I'm gonna have video of the grand opening or not but I might so so stay tuned I might get to sneak a little video well not sneak we'll just have a little snippet of what uh, we're going to be doing with this company guys I'm so very excited it's like when you speak your your dream out into the universe when you speak it it actually actually come true now and that could be negative as well because sometimes we speak negatively and we don't realize that we're speaking like negative things into our lives and you don't want to do that you you don't want to do that you want to speak positive things in your life i'm sorry guys a big huge 18 with a tractor trailer just came by i'm sorry about that but anyway you want to speak into things into your life that's going to uplift you that's going to elevate you that's going to make you a better person you know you may have things going on your on your life right now just like i am you know everybody has something that they're dealing with but don't ever let it stop you from from fulfilling your dreams it may be hard lord knows it's hard for me sometimes but guess what do this life you're going to have journeys you're going to have ups and downs you're going to have battles that you're going to have to fight you're going to have things, ugly things probably come into your life. Negative things going to come into your life. But guess what? You don't have to, like, sit in it and wallow in it, you know. Just just deal with it. Just say, you know what? This is going on. I'm going to deal with it. And really don't give a, a care about what, what, what somebody else is going to say. Because they don't look in the mirror. And it, they don't, they're not home with you when you're by yourself. Or when you look in the mirror at night, who do you see? Who reflection do you see? You. So, you know, be confident with you, you know, and, and just keep going, guys. I always wanted to be a model. Always. I always used to look through the, like, 
magazines and just look at women modeling clothes and things like that I said you know what I, I can do that I can do that and it took me this long because of my situation the the timing and everything and um, everything happens in its right season in its right time so just wait on it guys just wait on it be patient about it it'll come to you trust me it it will it will come to you and you just be persistent you know take opportunities if you see an opportunity don't be fearful don't be scared you know there was a there was something that was on Facebook the other day um, somebody posted something um, one of my friends or associates but I'll call her my friend this is a female and I just I don't know it's something in my spirit to say you know what just reach out to her just ask her about the project that she's doing you know and I instant message her and we're going to be working together in August of this year, 2015, for a photo shoot for a fashion line. Because she's, she's a, a very talented, wonderful designer. And guess what? I'm going to be modeling her fashions. So, you have to see an opportunity and don't be afraid to go out to ask to open up your mouth and say you know what this could be it this could be my shot and don't don't be afraid you know I had to overcome that as well and sometimes I still get jittery sometimes but guess what life goes on and I wanted to give you guys an update about that first um my very first casting casting call, I think it was in, I think it was in January, I believe. I have a video about it, and I posted a video about, I was, you know, excited about my first casting call, and it was amazing. I was very confident in everything, but guess what? I got to give y'all an update on that, because guess what? This is my journey, and I, will, and I told you guys from the beginning that I was going to tell you all about it. The good, the bad, the ugly, whatever. But I didn't get, I didn't get chosen for that one. I didn't. Now, I felt confident. I knew I did well and everything. But it didn't happen. It didn't happen. And guess what? It probably wasn't the, the best thing for me at that moment. But then guess what now? Now, I'm with a company that I'm going to be doing photo shoots each month. I'm going to be modeling and getting myself out there and creating my portfolio and being in videos as well guys I you know things happen for a reason things happen like in season and I'm so happy that I did go on it it was my very first casting call so now this is a part of my story I can tell young women um my mature women as well like look just because you go out and apply for a casting call that doesn't mean necessarily that you're gonna get it the first time or maybe the second or maybe the third but guess what I didn't give up I said you know what there's gonna be another opportunity and I'm gonna be right there prepared for it and guess what I was I was so I don't feel ill about it I don't feel my, my friend one of my co-workers, she got she got chosen to be a uh to be in the uh, fashion show, but I didn't. But guess what? I'm happy for her. See what you under you what you have to understand is you have to be so confident in yourself that you don't throw shade on anybody else. Happiness, like if somebody get you know chosen for something or somebody get an award or whatever just praise that praise them you know you want to get your opportunity it just not it just might not be your time and you have to be mature and that comes with maturity as well you have to be mature to say you know what okay move on to the next you know that's what i did 
you know, that is exactly what I did. And now I am with this company that is going to expand my brand. You know, and I'm so very excited about my journey, guys. I'm so excited about my journey. I can talk for days about my journey and about just being excited about life. Because you don't know when your your last day is on this earth. So do you. Make sure you do what you love, your passion. I love hair as well. I'm a cosmetologist, a professional cosmetologist. I I work my butt off. I work my butt off. I study to learn about hair and the structure of hair and how to take care of hair and how to it's 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 a lot. Guys, just you know, people think just a cosmetologist is just a person who does hair, which is true, but you you have to learn about the the structure of hair you go you get your license you go through procedures everybody don't know that so it's a career all right and you know i think people should respect it like even more i respect it more because i knew what i had to go through so i'm going to also be making videos about that um like right now i just had my hair in a um i had a sewing for I think about a month, but now I said, you know what, I I'm just doing something different, so I did a little updo, ponytail, little bun with the little thing. So I'm gonna be promoting that as well. But back to what I was saying, because I got a little bit off top topic. I'm very excited about my modeling career. You're never to don't ever limit yourself, your age, your background, what you know. Don't ever limit yourself. There's opportunities out there. There's somebody who's looking for you. Just you. So go out there, guys, and do it. And be safe. Be happy. Love life. No matter what you're going, going through. Love it. Push past that hurt. It's hard. Because I'm, I, I have been hurt. But... You have to find something inside of you that you love, that you're willing to fight for, to make it. And I know you guys can do it. I know I've been saying random things, and I'm just saying stuff that comes to my heart at this moment. So until next time, this is Plus Size Modern and I will give you updates on um, my journey, what jobs I get. Um, the experience that I'm going through. If you have any questions for me, all you plus size models out there, you can contact me. I'm going to have my web address and my, I'm sorry, my email address www.getwithrain77 that's at email at gmail, sorry, dot com. I have that on in my description box. I have all my information, my Facebook page, uh, my Instagram, everything. I have that down for you guys. But I want you to subscribe to my channel, guys. You know, subscribe to my channel, and I will do the same thing to you or for you. So until next time, so on a, another episode of my journey, this is Plus Size Modern. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.